Hello, and welcome to the video Mastering the INCOSI System Engineering Handbook in preparation for the INCOSI System Engineering Professional Exam. This is video number 23, the Quality Assurance Process, Chapter 5.8 in the System Engineering Handbook. My name is Lance Sherry, and I will be the, your guide for this short video. As we've started off all the videos in the series, we point out that the System Engineering Handbook has kindly identified life cycle processes and activities to make successful development of very complex systems that are designed in the, in the presence of very complex life cycles. The handbook identifies 59 system engineering life cycle processes and activities. And those 59 activities and processes are grouped into seven groups. The topic of this video is the quality assurance process, and that falls into the technical management process group. To put things in context for the technical management process, um, all things, systems, uh, products that are developed are developed uh, in projects. And so project is a unit of measurement uh, that we use to describe how things are developed. The, uh, the technical management processes is, 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 revolves around the definition of projects, how they're developed, how they're managed, and how they're executed. So the learning objective for this, uh, this video for the quality assurance process is to start off with a little bit of a description about uh, quality and the principles of quality uh, defined by Edward Deming. Then we'll go into a definition of quality assurance. One of the things we'll talk about is the difference between quality assurance and quality control. And then uh, three, four, five, six, and seven are directly from the handbook. Uh, the purpose of the quality assurance process, the outputs, inputs, and process activities, and then the three approaches that are used for quality assurance. So just at a very high level, uh, quality obviously is very important in the development of products. And a lot of the quality ideas, the quality management ideas, were developed by, by Dr. Edward Deming. Um, he has a very interesting uh, history. He was a uh, physics and math major who went to work for the U.S. government. Uh, he worked for the Department of Agriculture and was responsible for their census, worked in their census department. and was responsible for statistical methods used to take uh, census. While he was there, he worked under the direction of General Douglas MacArthur, who after the Second World War was responsible for rebuilding Japan. And in that context, Douglas MacArthur invited Deming over to Japan, and where he was, uh, where he worked to support the Japanese government in uh, preparing for their next census, which was scheduled to take place in 1951. While he was there, um, he became well known in the manufacturing community, and he gave several speeches um, and went in and worked with several Japanese manufacturing companies. Uh, to improve their, um, the quality of their products. One of the famous stories is that um, at that time, uh, the cars that were built in America and Detroit were emphasis on performance and were rather clunky uh, products with, with poor quality. It was uh, not uncommon for a door to require it to be slammed in order to close it after two or three years of use. And uh, the, one of the most famous stories that was related to Deming is that, the, is that Ford had built a car that used uh, transmissions, some of which were built in America and others were built in Japan. Uh, these were built by Mazda in Japan. And uh, after uh, one or two years of sales, customers of this Ford car would request that, they, um, that their car have the Mazda transmission in it, the Japanese built transmission. And they were willing to wait months in order to get this, um, this transmission that was perceived to have much higher quality. So with that, uh, Edward Deming uh, became famous both in Japan and then later in America and uh, almost single-handedly resulted in significant improvement in the quality of cars that were built in America and, and subsequent competitiveness of the American auto industry. So one of his main principles was that quality cannot be inspected into a product. You can't look at the product after it's been built 
and um, improve it. That the quality must be baked into the process for creating the product. So he emphasized the process uh, for building something and finding the, improving the quality of the product by making changes to the process. So the whole topic of quality assurance is to ensure improvement in, um, in the development and production process. So quality assurance makes sure that the process that's being used to develop the products is, has quality itself and is continuously being improved. So, um, so quality assurance applies throughout the complete project life cycle, not just the development phase, but the whole life cycle. And it provides confidence that the product or service conforms to the stakeholder requirements, and then, uh, or importantly, the development process standards, develop, development process procedures, development process methods. So you want to avoid the situation where the procedures that are used to develop the, the product um, are not being followed carefully, uh, that the procedures are outdated, um, that the shortcuts are being taken. And one of the main things that uh, Deming emphasized was the need to reduce variance in repeatable processes. So if I have a process that develops the same widget over and over again, the variability of that uh, process needs to be addressed so that the widget comes out with, with, with very good tolerances. Um, so the other things about the quality assurance process is that it's typically implemented or it should be implemented as an independent objective review. In other words, the quality assurance process reports to the executive of the company, not to the project manager. So if you think about it, the project will be under uh, strong pressures and influences generally to get things done quickly, uh, make schedule, be under budget. And quality assurance uh, can work against those. So you typically have the quality assurance reporting to executive management and not to the project manager. And the whole idea of quality assurance is to have a sign off that has the checks and balances of the, uh, the whole en enterprise in, in, in perspective. Um, so very important that quality assurance is this independent objective review. And then the second major bullet talks about the quality assurance is implemented through procedures for monitoring development, monitoring the development and production processes, and then verifying and reducing the defects that are a result of these, of these processes. So the quality assurance process that's defined in the technical management processes is a, a subsection or a, a subprocess of the quality management process um, that's part of the organizational and project enabling processes. So you can see that in the diagram. On the right hand side, the organizational project enabling processes has a quality management process, and then a part of that quality management process is quality assurance process. That's the subject of this video. So just a couple of words on the difference between quality assurance and quality control. And this kind of goes back to uh, the Deming uh, principle of quality that's listed here on the bottom of the slide, that quality cannot be inspected into a process or a product, that it must be baked into the process development. So quality assurance ensures improvement of the development and production processes. Um, so looking at the two upper bullets, quality assurance is uh, proactive and it happens uh, at the process level, whereas quality control is at the product level and tends to be, to be reactive. So the focus of this video is on quality assurance. The handbook definition, the system engineering handbook that is, definition of uh, quality assurance is to help ensure effective application of the organization's quality management process. And then the asterisk points out that the quality management process is defined in the system engineering handbook in section 7.5 in the organizational and enabling processes. So in plain language, uh, quality assurance is an independent review typically reporting to executives to make sure that the quality management process is being adhered to. Um, a very simple process, a quality management plan is the input, um, uh, then the uh, auditing of, and inspection of the quality uh, of the process has taken place and the result is a quality assurance report. So the input is the quality management plan, 
the output is the quality assurance report. Um, last slide, there are three main methods that are identified in the system engineering handbook for the um, quality assurance process. Uh, number one is checklists. So the idea of checklists is you keep track of lessons learned and things that have happened in the past and you make sure that they don't happen again. Um, the second uh, method is the quality audit and that is an independent review. So you make sure that the process is following the company policies, company processes and company procedures and that there are no shortcuts. And then the last one, uh, once uh, issues are uncovered in the checklists or quality, is to go back and do a root cause analysis and find out what is the source of the anomaly. And to do that, the um, handbook identifies five techniques, methods for root cause analysis. Uh, the Ishikawa fishbone diagram, uh, the fault tree analysis and failure modes effects analysis, also a criticality analysis, and then a kind of a more of a qualitative uh, technique known as the five whys technique. So quality assurance methods, checklist, quality audit, and root cause analysis. So at this time, here's a group of questions to see how much you know on the topic of the quality assurance process. Um, grab a pencil and paper, uh, pause the video, and see if you can answer these questions. Once you're done, you can release the video, go to the next slide. And the next slide has the answers. You can check um, your responses. So thank you for taking the time to go through the video. This video covered the quality assurance process in the technical management process. Uh, the next video is on the acquisition process that is a part of the agreement processes. Thank you for your time, and if you could, we'd be grateful if you could press the uh, thumbs up button. Thank you very much.